Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Shafiq. I am teaching a QG this quality engineering course 339. And this course is all about uh, regarding the knowledge that analytical skills and knowledge students need to understand the process variation or how the defects happen in the processes, how they can measure them. Okay, for this we actually teach in this course many <coughs> models or many techniques regarding the statistical monitoring, process monitoring. Uh, we have uh, introduced in this course many control chart schemes starting from their X bar simple control charts to also the other current control charts like time weighted control charts and also the process capability analysis in this course that students can measure the performance of their processes, how good or bad are the processes are working as well as actually in this also we teach uh, the course regarding this uh, acceptance sampling and to measure that whether at the end of the day uh, the processes are producing good or bad uh, in terms of uh, quality assurance and also in this course we are teaching some models regarding advanced level we call it uh, process measurements in the measurement system analysis. So this is all actually to improve the students level of understanding about the process capability, process performance, perform uh, process monitoring and also how they can uh, improve their processes. Uh, there are some difficulties that I have observed students are facing in this course. First thing is the, because this course is heavily based on statistical knowledge uh, for uh, application of statistical knowledge in the engineering area. So the students are lacking in practicing the statistical knowledge in their pre, uh, previous courses. So the most difficult thing for the students is that the, the forgetting or not uh, understanding properly the statistical uh, concepts and knowledge in this course. So this actually I would advise students to always to refresh their knowledge, try to link their knowledge with the engineering applications and understand that how they can apply statistical knowledge in the engineering, in, in, in the engineering area. So this is the most thing that students they face and in order to pass this course they have to really bear up this uh, some level of uh, the, uh, statistical knowledge. They have to improve, they have to actually do this uh, uh, properly in their earlier courses. Otherwise uh, it is not going to be easy in this course because this course is a bit advanced level rather than the basic level of statistics. The amount of effort students needed in this course is really very high as they have to link their knowledge with the statistics with the engineering problems and understand the con statistical control theory, understand also the process capability concept, understand also the time weighted control chart and how actually the uh, uh, statistical uh, distributions can be applied in order to detect and determine what are the ratios of the uh, non-conformances. So this is all actually need students great effort. So for this reason I always encourage students to do actually class practices inside class participations and also do the lab work. Also in the tutorials they should actually sit in groups and do the lot of work. And not only inside the class or outside the class they also have to sit in the groups and work hard. They specifically in order to actually get some good grade in this course they have to concern more than one book. There is a one reference book that is actually from Montgomery that is always I prefer that every student should buy and read from the book. So this need actually to not only read from the book, practice all the questions and exercises, all examples from the book. Any uh, actually uh, problem that students face, they should bring this into the class, we should discuss in the class. So they have to actually practice, without practice it is not going to be easy to pass this course. And normally in this course students are uh, not performing good. So if they have to get the average grade, actually they, in order to get some good grade, they have to as I was before, they have to do a lot of practice. Average grade in this course is normally B, C plus and B, normal is the average grade for the uh, good students. And uh, there is some percentage of failure in this course, but that is very minimal. And mostly then uh, average grade is C to B grade. نادي الهندسة الصناعية سلسلة ثراء